Welcome back, my monstrous seahorses. How you guys doing today? We're gonna head on into Aquaria Towers. So this one, we spawned one, one goofy little, uh, goofy little guy over there. I've never, I've never, I don't think I've ever done that before. Normally it's like get all 400. Finding one is just a little bit low. So, oh, I remember when I was a kid, I felt so bad for the seahorse. I'm like, all he wanted to do is just have a glass of water. You survive. Please let him survive. Oh, and he dumps it into the little goofy-looking monster bucket over there. All right, so this one is actually a little bit difficult, um, the especially the... The funny-looking guys with the shock sticks have drained all our water. We can't get it back unless someone activates the switches they're guarding. The funny-looking guys with the shock sticks have drained all of our water. I think I could, I think I could, uh, uh, voice that guy. I totally could. Anyways, oh, you know what? I just realized I probably shouldn't have even done this yet. Um... It's swimming's a little bit more difficult than running around, in my opinion, at least. So it's not too bad, but it's not good. Anyways, look at that—we got a sheep with uh, the helmet on. That's so goofy. So yeah, the reason why this level is difficult is actually because once you get all the water in this entire place done, uh, located, you actually have to go straight through up there, and that's where you can find all of the rest of the extra orbs. So uh, we can't do that just yet, obviously. Because the water's not high enough. But I remember when I first played this game, I was searching forever. I'm like, where the heck is it? Where could it possibly be? And I was searching for years upon years upon years. Not really that many years, but uh, for a long freaking time. And uh, it was not fun. So we're going to kill this crab, get these rupees, and pop up here. I should call them gems, shouldn't I? So anyways, you're probably wondering, how the heck do I kill these sharks? Well, you have to wait till the end here as well to uh, pop through that stuff. The nice thing is the enemies are actually pretty reasonably easy to kill in this place. Um, some of the enemies can be difficult in some of these early levels, but not too bad. Alright. Let's do the water. I'm ready for it. Water me. Water me timbers. Alright. Anyways, another sheep down the drain. Wink, wink, wink. Down the drain. Get it, get it, get it. Uh, it's probably not that funny, is it? Not really. That's okay. So anyways, um... Yeah, I just remember I was so sad for the seahorses. I surprisingly, though, when I watch a lot of these, um... These movies, like, before the, the, the game actually starts, or the level actually starts, I am... I surprisingly remember a lot of this stuff. It just shows that those little goofy movies right at the very beginning can mean so much, you know? Things for dodge and stuff like a boss, not killing all the crap. The last crab. I think the crabs are probably one of the easiest things to kill in the entire game. I probably will die to a crab though. It'll just oh, money bags McGee over here. What do you want for me now? How many rupees Hi, is gonna cost me? You must be tougher than you look to get here. All the same, you won't be able to get past the metal sharks up ahead. I suppose I could let you borrow my submarine though, for a modest fee, of course. How much? A hundred gems? A pleasure doing gems? business with you, Spyro. Oh, submarine is one God. Moneybags, you're breaking it. my balls here. You're breaking my balls, moneybags. Come on. Anyways, we're going to take this Sharknado uh, submarine over here. Um, you wonder, whoa, dude, there's there's gems down there. you got to go get them right now. Well, the sharks are basically, they're an insta-kill, first of all. You instantly die if you get too close to them. And they're basically impossible to dodge. You can't just swim fast enough and escape them. So, yeah, it's definitely not fun to deal with them. How the heck what you jump at you do? Oh, gosh! We did almost die to a crab. Oh, my God, we're probably going to die to a crab. I'm down to my last... My, uh, oh, oh, God! We died to the crab. <laughs> it is official. The crab has officially killed us. Oh, gosh. So, anyways, we're back here. Um, it's such a tight corridor. That's the problem here. It's a tight little area. Yeah! Got it. Woo! So that was pretty tight right there. Maybe we can drown money bags. Don't you guys want to drown money? I I would totally be down drowning money bags. I'd kill I'd kill him uh, ten different ways. So first of all, I'd roast him. I'd roast his butt off, and then after that, I would probably bury him in the dirt. I'd slice his head off. Slice his fingers off one by one before he's dead. Oh no! Excuse me, excuse me. I didn't mean to be so uh, so. Sounding. I'm not that evil. 
here we go. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is probably the uh, end of the level already. So that was a pretty easy, like, regular run-through of the level, right? It wasn't all that difficult. Getting the talisman on the level wet again. simple as crap. We all want you to have this talisman of Aquaria Towers to remember us by. Hoppo the Seahorse. Hoppo. So normally they do, they do some really ridiculous um, names for these guys that actually are, like, realis realistically goofy. I guess it's probably one of the best ways to put it. Like, all the, uh, the lightning guys were, like, Sparks and weird names like that. So what we're gonna have to do, guys, is we're gonna actually go all the way and kill all the sharks now. So we're gonna kill... I'm gonna kill... I'm gonna kill these sharks first, because I think they're a little bit closer. Maybe I can get both sets of sharks done. So there we go. Just wait for them to go into this giant circle thing, and then we get this thing as well. Nice. So this was like a nice little hidden area in here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it to the other, so I'm actually gonna go back. Go back in time. Zap me. Oh, come on, little fairy. Zap me. But now, of course, we've got to kill the other sharks. There's a big chunk of sharks up here as well. So let's go. those are going to be the first things to do. And then I'm actually going to head on over to where I was showing you guys earlier. The, uh, the evil area. With a bunch of random things that are... Oh, crap! Oh, crap! Oh, crap! Oh, crap! Oh, crap! Oh, crap. oh my god! So we do kill them all, but that was uh, a little closer than I would have liked. And... The thing runs out that there's two more sharks over here. Insta kills. As soon as you walk up to those guys, they kill you instantaneously, and it's never fun to deal with that. So, anyways, that is most of the gems, but there's still one secret spot of gems in here that I want to show you guys because this was actually some of the tough. Yeah, the gems in this level are the difficult part. Um, everything else is pretty easy, but the gems, they're they're difficult. Actually, no, at this level, is just difficult. The talisman's easy, everything else is difficult. Uh, but there's some gems, if I'm not mistaken, up here. There's one set, and there's two sets. So that's still not all of them, though. Oh, goodness gracious, Chris, you're running me all over the place. I know, I know, I know. I'm a little bit on the evil side, but anyways, we're gonna finally go in here. So this is actually the, the area where you start. Alright, you're gonna go straight up in the air. And you're gonna go straight through this guy, and there's an entire new area. Oh my god. Open world Spyro. Kind of, sort of, a little bit. Anyways, you actually want to start doing the, um, the special things first before you start uh, doing all the rupees and gold and everything, because it'll make it easier. My children and hidden them in the tops of these numbered towers. I borrowed some explosives to blast the doors off the towers. Alright, flippity flop. Let's go. If you can make it to the top of the six numbered towers, my children will be safe. Oh, is that how it works? All we gotta do is make it to the top of the towers. Oh, I'm totally down for that. So anyways, we got some zippity zaps over here. Oh, goodness gracious, we made it. And we rescued the flippity flop, number one. We've got a whopping six flippity flops to save, so let's go find flippity flop number two. I don't know where, where he's at. I thought he was right next door, but I guess I'm wrong. Yeah, dude, he's, he's in here somewhere. I just don't know where he's at. <laughs> Guess I could just search for the, the... Oh, here we go. Two. I don't know how I didn't find that easier. Anyways, people don't know this, but you can actually press X to swim slower. Who does that, though? Everybody just swims as fast as they can. Uh, at least that's the way I do it. But you can swim nice and just regularly slow. I guess for people that are struggling... Um, game that can do that. Personally, I'm just more of a do-it-as-fast-as-you-can type guy. So, of course, they're making it difficult for me to find everything, but we're gonna hop down here and get number three, which is actually pretty darn close over here. And this time, they just got a crab in here. So, of course, crabs ain't gonna be hurting me. Now, the reason why this is actually kind of difficult is because if you die, you have to restart all the way over, unless you get zapped, zapped by a fairy. Which is possible, you could do that. Zip, 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 whoop, whoop. So that's four down, we only got two more to go. Five has just exploded. I don't remember where five is, but I think it's behind me for some reason. I think it's up here. So let's go check it out. Hopefully I'm right. Five? Oh, that's six. Poo. Pope nuggets to the extreme. 
So that means it must be over here. So if we find a fairy, though, I'm gonna get zapped just in case I die. Just in case. Zap me. Alright. So how's this one looking? Oh, we got a multitude of crabs and zapper doodles. Oh, we got zapped once. Okay. That's alright. That's okay. No big dealio. And we get the last ones. Now, we do have to kill the crabs if we wanted to get a full on. Uh, 100% of this level. I don't know, normally I think it's kind of fun to do 100% of levels, where I also include uh, killing all of the enemies. So you might not be able to tell, but there's 29 of 29 enemies have been killed, which means we did kill all of the enemies officially. It is official. Alright, and we can get this sheep back in here. Whoop! There he goes. Come on, Sparks. Kill him! Eat him up! Eat the butterflies! It's kind of weird. I don't think dragonflies eat butterflies, do they? I don't think so. So anyways, this one's gonna be a little bit oh gosh. A little difficult for us. Gotta do it nice and slow This is the tough one, but we make it to the top of level six. You did it. Now we can swim did in it. peace. I heard that No you problem, were King Flippy. Orbs. Please take this one. See, King Flippy knows what's up. He's like, I heard you were collecting the orbs. Take this one. Everybody's just like, oh, look at the shiny thing I found. Why don't you have it? They don't ever give me anything else besides orbs. What are the chances? As soon as we get a nice little uh, flippity flop sheep over there, and we're going to get another flippity flop sheep over here. And we're going to finally start talking to Hunter. So let's see how uh, how skillful I am at Spyro. If I can uh, fly through this stuff and actually do a decent job. I've been trying to tame my new pet manta ray, but he just won't obey me. Hey, you're just about the right size to ride on his back. Should we tell, tame the manta ray? Dude, Hop I would love to tame the manta ray. Guide him through each of the rings of bubbles as it appears. And remember, he's brand new, so try not to get him dented or scratched <laughs> up. Oh my god, Hunter, you're kind of jerk faced to the, the manta ray. So, this is supposed to be the easy one, only two out of five difficulties. Three. Well, Flippity's leading us along the way here. Oh gosh, that was more difficult than I thought. Yip, boop, boop. Yip, chip, chip. All right, there we go. Oh, we got. And did we make it? We did. We made it. Well, that was. Yeah, that wasn't that I hard. Yeah, two star difficulty made sense. Here. So you never know. Is Hunter on your side or isn't he on your side? So look, I found an orb in my slipper. Why don't you just give me all the orbs? Come on, Hunter. Now that I've you up with something before you give me the I'd love to get him into racing shape. Care to racing take him through shape. a harder course? Oh, gosh. Four difficulty out of five. All right, this is going to be a little more difficult, obviously. Let's see if we can manage it. Come on, Flippity. Come on, don't give me, don't give me too, something too tough. Woo! That's what we call a spicy meatball right there. Oh gosh, it's so spicy. Oh, he's gonna take me down through the loop here. So at least we get all these gems. Oh. oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, we're getting all messed up over here. One more. Oh! Yep, yep we did it! Yes! On the first try, baby, both you times. Got real talent. I could Thank use you, a partner like you. You can have the orb I found in my other flipper, too. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sure, finding all the orbs in your flippers, huh? So there we go. We got the talisman. We got the three orbs. Now we've got to work on all the gems. So first of all, you always want to check on the ground floor. There's probably going to be a lot of the ground floor down here. Just do some loop-de-loops around everything. But then also, beyond that, I remember I was having a very, very tough time finding uh, the last bit of gems on this level when I first played it. So anyways, I think I'm trapped or almost glitched or something. So I guess you can't go over there. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, so I think I got all the ones down at the bottom here. Let's go check up on the top now. I might have to re recheck down at the bottom. But. But. Maybe this is the last one? No, not quite. Oh, there's a few more. Come on, come on, come on. Could that be all of them? It's not. It's not. Alright, so obviously I missed a gem somewhere, right? Yep, I missed two gems somewhere. Maybe it's in here. Maybe I just uh, didn't get it with the manta ray. No, I didn't. Oh, gosh, where could the two gems be? It's guaranteed it's a green gem. It's not going to be two reds. At least almost guaranteed. 
Alright, so I just want to check up here before really quick. Obviously, if you guys don't want to continue watching, it's completely understandable. Uh, it's That's one thing about this game, is that it's really easy to miss one gem. Well, that freaking sucks. Guess where it was, guys? Right freaking here! Right here! Right, right by the entrance! On the back part of the entrance. And I remember very specifically, I did a circle around here, too. I went like this all the way around, and I somehow must have, Sparks must have missed it, or I must have missed it, or something stupid. But, uh, yeah, that's the end of Aquaria Towers. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I know it's a little bit difficult. Figured it out, though. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and happy Super Duper. Delicious day.